Well, there you go. I don't mess up that often, but when I do, I usually do it pretty good.
Because we hauling scrap metal. Yeah, hauling scrap metal today. In the old dumpy trucks. Welcome back to 806 Track. New to the channel? Welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. That way you get any uh, notifications. When we put out something new, you've been here with us for a while. Welcome back. Well, this morning we loaded up a bunch of scrap metal uh, around our yard and had about a half a half a dump truck load. We went down to our local uh, cotton gin that we take care of, and when we haul our cotton out of in the fall, and uh, they had a bunch of scrap metal down there. And uh, we went and cleaned up a bunch of it. So we got two full dump truck loads. And we are about to roll into Amarillo, Texas right now to take this stuff and drop off at the scrapyard. So uh, we got uh, my Uncle Adam. He's up there in the, oh, the Mac Attack, the green Mac Attack. And I'm running this old, uh, old hoopty freight liner here. So. Say hooky, it actually runs pretty good for a freight liner with a Mercedes engine and it is an automatic. So, but we're making it work. We got something to do today, that's good. Uh, really, that gin, I think they got two or three more loads uh, stuck in there for us to haul off. So, that's something to keep us busy. Still got another three, four weeks the peanuts kick off so we're gonna be we're gonna be looking for stuff to do I'm sure here for the next three or four weeks uh, I got a little footage of us loading this truck up uh, just some uh, I just a time lapse but kind of sketchy loading some of this stuff up and we got our own here I just hope it all comes out when we go to dumping but if not this uh scrap yard over here they got a big magnet. They can reach in the back of your truck, pick that stuff out. I think they even got a grappler too. But uh, hopefully it all slide out. I got some pretty big pieces in the back of this truck though that, uh, that might not come out. Uh, my Adam, Adam up here, he's got a few pretty good sized pieces too. But this one's got more big stuff. It's got a lot more uh, smaller stuff in it. So we're gonna roll down over here and. Uh, get checked in and hell I'll catch up with y'all in a minute when we get there uh, time lapsing on over to the to the spot where we're going uh, to the spot where we're going to unload that was rough wallet went flying out the holder I ain't got enough money in it to hold it down <laughs> anyway ride with us Amarillo Boulevard over here on the east side a little bit of the hood the hood of Amarillo there's a restaurant up here on the right right before we get to this bridge up here it's called uh, El Manatial bad ass Mexican food it is real good so I mean like I said, went a little bit of the hood over here on the east side. But man, that's a good restaurant. Real good restaurant. I don't know, I always like coming to these little places over here in the, in the other side of town, you know what I'm saying, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, usually got some real good food at these places. 
man, it, it, it is good. That looks like they got another uh, restaurant down here now. Guerra Calatera. I don't know. I haven't heard of that one yet. That's a new one. But that, uh, that place I'm talking about, you have to get off right there and go beside this bridge. It's right down here at the other side of this bridge. I don't know if you guys see where it says, uh, past this little motel, then there's a little shop right here on the right. And then you can see all the park, uh, cars parked at it right here on the right, little white building. Ain't good place to eat if you're ever in Amarillo, Texas. There's the old Cattleman's Club back when the, the stockyards were open down here and everything. That was a that was a place to hang out at a Cattleman's restaurant and a Cattleman's uh, uh, club. It was a little bar, bar and stuff. I remember, remember old grandpa, my old grandpa talking about that place back in the day. There's a pretty good little taco truck right here on the right, always at this intersection too. Little green taco truck over here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Over here on the side of that building. We're going to be hanging left here on Grand Street. And uh, get over here. This, this is a big uh, railroad depot down here too. So we'll be going, getting off on the bridge up here right before you get to all the railroad tracks. That's where the uh, scrap metal place is. Actually a scrap metal place right in front of us here too. Amarillo Recycling. You might be able to see that sign right there. We always go to this one back here. Uncle Adam's right here in front of us in the green Mac attack. Got a we got a uh, American trailer up here on our left. Go get a bunch of trailer parts there. Good trailer rental place if you need a rental trailer for a little bit. You can see the couch upstairs, RGNs, and some step decks. Um, you look right here on my left is a great building back off in there. A guy by the name of Gus. He's the one that does all the painting uh, and body work on our trucks. If we ever hit a deer or, or whatever, he uh, does a damn good job. It's a uh, store truck and body repair. So, guy in there, his name is Gus. So, pull in here. We got to pull in here and get on the scale. Sometimes there's a line out there about right here, so maybe we'll get lucky today. We're going to be able to get in here and get out. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, they got that track hole sitting back there at the grappler. Think bad about going in the scrapyard. Usually got to change the tire when you get home. <laughs> Run over something. Usually there's somebody out here kind of directing traffic and stuff, but...
talking to a filler here. He's showing us what we need to do, I guess. Then there's usually a guy out here that would help you out with that stuff. But get here and get weighed in. See what's up. We gotta get us some CB radio putting these to it. Adam weighed about 40,000 and some change. I'm going to weigh about 35,760. I'm about, about 4,000 pounds lighter. This truck is a little lighter than his, too. Usually that light will turn green for you right there on the scale. fix this door too the handle on the inside don't work then you lean over to unlock it lean over to unlock it or open it and the door don't lock hey, hey. it actually opened that time well better stay here looks like that filler well y'all can see through the gopro up here waiting to show us show us our way in there This will be the quickest I ever got in and out of here, y'all. Usually gotta wait. And we might still have to wait, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just hope everything comes out the back. I might put the GoPro out there when I get ready to dump. That way y'all see what's up with that. Jumping. I don't know if I can put that GoPro if I got it on activity where it's a wide view or not.
You're good. You want me to get in the same spot? Yeah.
I don't mess up that often, but when I do, I usually do it pretty good. Right there's the radiator. That's the pipe going into the radiator. And I ripped that sucker all to pieces. There was a, they had a set of railroad tracks in there. They had a stopper at the end of those tracks. I didn't see it. I just, I don't know why I didn't see it, but I didn't see it. And I ran smooth the heck over it. So we're over here at the shop I was telling y'all about earlier in the video. Guy that uh, does all our paint and body stuff. He's not here right now. I'm waiting for him to get back. We'll see if we can park this thing inside his, uh, inside his facility here until we can come up here with the low boy and load it up and take it to the house. And I guess I'm going to have to put a new radiator in it. But I know we're going to have to. One of them days, y'all. One of them days. I guess it happened to all of us sooner or later go to dealing with this kind of stuff but um, I guess I left y'all got cut off there when I was showing y'all what I messed up boss man called me back let me know what I needed to do so uh, I called around to Freightliner got a quote on a radiator $725 uh, got our other little parts guy that usually takes care of us. He's uh, going to be running us another quote. So, uh, of course, I'll put the radiator in. I'll do it in-house so we'll save a little money there. But we lost money today, so that's never a good thing when you lose money, especially self-inflicted when it's self-inflicted. So, um, I went back on the camera here i rode back i rode back from amarillo to to the house here it's about 90 miles rode back with my uncle adam and that mac and uh i was watching that video and i guess when i was trying i, I couldn't see in front of me because i had the gopro out on the on the dump bed so y'all could see me unloading and uh the, the camera on the inside was on me of course so you guys y'all be able to see me and what I was doing I, I was attentive but from where I was it was like a u-turn there I had a u-turn and I was looking back at the hole the guy wanted me to back into to, to dump that metal off that there was a little pickup right there too so I was swinging trying to miss him and then about the time I turned from looking to the right at the hole and that pickup and look forward is about when I hit that uh, hit that beam. What it what it is is a uh, there's sub train tracks come through there because they'll load scrap iron onto uh, rail cars and haul it out of there. What's the bump stops for them rail cars right there? And they stand up probably about 15 inches out of the ground and they're painted orange, kind of a faded orange, but nonetheless they're painted orange to be visible. And I should have took some pictures, but I didn't. I just barely caught the outside, the inside one with the outside of the front of the truck there. So, and, and where it caught, that thing wasn't an inch wide, inch and a half wide, it hit just perfect. If I would have been, if I'd have been two inches left or right, it wouldn't hit anything radiator wise and made a mess. But that them radiators on them Columbia's hang way down below anything else in the front. And if I'd been right or left, it would have just hit up against the the frame the axle frame on either side and i would have been able just to uh it would hit it and stop me and i've been able to back up been all right with my luck i got it that way nonetheless my mistake my fault for uh not being more attentive it just goes to show i mean you can have be doing stuff for 25 years and you're still going to mess up and there's a lot of people that don't mess up but um, see, I get to see, I guess, I don't know, the dumbass in me. I still do have a little bit of dumbass in me, so. But anyway, uh, we're going to go down there one of these days. I don't know. 
who will go get it myself or one of the other guys will take our uh, little boy down there and load it up and bring it home and get in the shop i'll pull the hood off pull the radiator out and stick a new one in it so maybe we'll get some footage on that as far as talking to the boss man while we go as far as tomorrow we got uh two loads of hay to haul and i might be going on that i might not i don't know so just let me know later so i can go get hooked up to the uh step deck if not uh we have a noser that i need to do some work on so so either way, tomorrow I'll be either working on a noser, a uh, little, little 450G Don John Deere, old school, do, older dozer, and or I'll be going to get some hay, so maybe I'll get some footage of that. Uh, try to do a video on changing out the radiator on the, on the Columbia, so that'd be a good uh, informational video to put out, how to change out the radiator on the Freight 2007 Freightliner Columbia. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you uh, like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to make fun of me, make fun of me in the comments. I am uh, I, I got I got kind of big shoulders, so uh, I just kind of tend to let stuff roll off my shoulders. It, it eats me up enough that I did it. So make fun of me all you want, and I'll just laugh and go on with you. So. Um, Hope everybody has a good day and uh, I'm gonna go in here and take a shower and sit on the couch and edit this video. I said subscribe, hit the like button, ring the bell. Much appreciated. All new subscribers, thanks for subscribing. Been here for us with us for a while. Thanks for hanging out with us. 690 subscribers when I looked at it earlier today. So about to bump that 700 mark. Uh, hopefully we'll just keep climbing. Anyway, Radio 6 driver, BMB trucking. Keep the shiny side up. See that bad nail? I mashed that sucker the other day too. I don't know if I'll lose it or not. But anyway, keep the shiny side up. Hammer down. We'll catch you next time.